Hey everyone, it's Lucy here from GameSpot. I am joined by Abby and John from Media Molecule, and you guys are here to show me dreams. Yes. You're gonna make my dreams come true. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're gonna try. We have heard a lot of dreams puns, if you would believe that. <laughs> I can't, I can't finally not believe it. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to start off with, you're going to show us some of the things that you, you guys at Media Molecule and the uh, community have been making in dreams. Yeah. Um, should we kick it off? Yeah, let's do okay, it. Let's do it. Um, so if you hop into dreams, this is sort of your uh, first destination once you play through the, the intro. And these are all the kind of different areas that you can engage with. So there's our community jam where we give you a uh, topic and people create around it. Mm -hmm. So it's like a good way for the community to get a theme and create around. Um, you have your personal profile. This is uh, our PR person's profile. So uh, we'll just we'll just make it public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and that should be fine. Follow him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now um, you know. But this is a social hub for dreams. So this is, you know, like where you go, where your creations are stored, um, you know, where you get notifications about dreams you're following or what your friends are doing, um, your home space, which is the sort of area behind us. And you can customize and build this to your heart's content. So it's kind of like your own hub and your friends can mm. go and check out what you've made. Um, and then there's uh, uh, dream surfing. So we'll start there. Um, so dream surf is where all of the like really um, the published content that people in dreams make goes. Mm -hmm. So like if you're happy with your piece, you want to publish it, you want people to play it, this is where you'd find it. And we have this thing called auto surf. And auto surf is like your random trip through the, the dream reverse. It's a bit like, like a, a dream, right? It's yeah, like literally exactly. you're having a dream and you know how you're suddenly like you're here and then you're here and then you're here. This is what that's like and it just strings together a load of the yeah. stuff that's in the dream reverse. And if you're looking for something more specific, you can actually go into search and you can say like, I only want things about sloths and then it'll only serve you <laughs> things that are like around the theme of sloths. I feel like we should look for some sloths. Yeah, there. is there any? Yeah. <laughs> Since you've plucked sloths out of the toilet. Well, I like sloths and they're adorable. Um, Has anyone made any sloth stuff yet? Sloth puppet. All oh, right, puppet. Let's, let's go. go. I mean, so early access has been out for like two weeks. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, in six months, who knows what kind of sloth content? Right. Maybe we'll inspire people to make things that are sloth related. But um, we can go and like they've made this <laughs> sloth puppet. That's super cute. Like, that is really cute. That's and then really you awesome. could take this and like if if the person has made it available to remix, you mm -hmm. could make this and do like a sloth adventure. And I'm, I just am already inspired of things that I want to do with sloth now. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Super sloth. Um, but the other, my favorite like secret to finding some really cool stuff in the Dreamverse is like if you actually go into Dream Shaping, which is the create side, um, you find a lot of people's uh, like newly published things. So <laughs> if you go to Browse All, um, you can find like the, all the collections of things people make to help each other, you know, create and find stuff. But also, um, let's see if we search sloth here. Um, if people are still sort of work in progress, but they want people to like check out their stuff and play oh. with it, like this is where you might find more sloths. What's sloth's Maybe birthday? Sloth's <gasps> birthday. Look at this. <laughs> we're such. By the way, we are such children about dreams. Like we're like we get so excited when we see people's like creations and like what they make because it's just so. Mm. People are so imaginative. And just like, oh. oh, so you're this adorable sloth. Look at that. And, and these, I guess, are all even friends. Oh, well, we should see your happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Shall we blow it? <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <gasps> Don't forget to make a win. <laughs> oh. oh. This is very wholesome. <laughs> This is very wholesome. The dreams community is very wholesome. Yeah. Very wholesome. So have you noticed a lot of people coming over from the LBP community? Definitely. Yeah, there have yeah. been. I, I like, feel like they've suddenly it? risen up. They're like, oh, you know, a we've, new We've thing, practiced, you know? we've yeah. trained yeah. for this. Yeah. 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 We've been waiting this a whole life. Sleepy time, cloud sloth. Wow, that's a... That is a... That is wow, a that's a... That's crazy stuff. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I mean, now you, see, you can see like all these things that people have made that sort of uh, revolve around uh, sloths, yeah. right? burgeoning sloth community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like I always like to look through there and, and find sort of what uh, you know people are sort of in the works right. creating. I think it's a really fun place to go, and you can search by like most recent or most popular, or most uh, liked. So you know, like you get you can, you can find a whole bunch of kind of cool, crazy stuff. Yeah. But if we go back to uh, dream surfing. Um, and dream surfing is where you put your sort of finished things or what you right. think is finished. You know, you're like, I've, I've made a load yeah. of levels or experience so like, and strung it together. I'm going to, you know, publish something that's... And it's also where you can go to find our content. So, yeah. uh, you know, we've been making things in uh, dreams. And, and the cool stuff about the content that we've been publishing as Media Molecule is, like, we make it so that people can go in there and they can pull it apart. We give them the collections of assets that we use so mm -hmm. that they can make their own versions of it. Uh, for example, we have this... Um, uh, 
let's see, we have a uh, like Dream Reverse Dash. Mm. So when you play Dream Reverse Dash here, if you want to... Sure, just um, run around. Yeah, minute. just run around. and So uh, if you were to go and play this, you, you play our version of it. But we can go back in and you can remix it and you can deconstruct it. And so people made this version where like, instead of Connie, our little character here, you're a dinosaur. <laughs> you're like a T-Rex running through the thing. And like somebody made like a post-apocalyptic version where it's all just completely destroyed and pulled apart and you have to find sort of like halfway through it. I'm waiting so, for the slot. Yeah, so we, we could actually, we could actually go it. drop let's, a, in oh, fact, I don't know, go drop a sock so in it. We're, we're exit. Drop, drop a sock in it. Drop a, <laughs> drop a sock in it. <laughs> it isn't, aren't, isn't every game better when you just drop a okay. sock in it? So what we need to do is actually find the, um, the creation inside. So because it's in a map at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, a dream, we want to remix, not the dream, we want to remix the, the item that's inside. Right. So let's go find that, which will be in browse. Ooh, dream shaping. So this is a create hub for the game. This is where you go to make things, um, you know, be it music or animation or art, make a little game level, make a scene, make a sloth birthday party. Um, and uh, what's really cool is a lot of our community allows people to remix what they've made. So mm -hmm. you can go in and you can take something that somebody else has already created and you can start making your own version of it or mm -hmm. tweaking something. Um, so John's about to do that for our content. Mm -hmm. So now you can start to see the behind the scenes of the game making, where we've placed lights, where we've <laughs> placed, um, you know, gameplay uh, elements. And, you know, we do want community to be able to see, like, how we create things. It's really helpful when you're a beginner and you're just starting yeah. out to, like, you can you can build on it yourself and you know oh that's how they did it and then yeah, you can exactly. remember it and take that into your own thing next time totally and you know some of our community actually makes their own templates for things and mm -hmm. there's the T Rex so John's just searched the Dream Reverse for sloth puppet and I have no idea how this would work or if it's like sloth can <laughs> we jump have no life. idea if it's going to work but this like, is this is live game let's development let's do it right live. <laughs> okay. and we could remove Connie and then. Oh, God. oh no! <laughs> Try again. I'm, oh, Connie pushed okay, me off. You should probably delete Connie out of this level. Just <laughs> let's, for let's remove Connie. Sorry, as much, Connie. As much as I love Connie, yeah. we should take her out. So. She, Connie, is our tutorials character. She will, uh, you know, lead you on the path to creating in dreams. We have a full slate of tutorials. Our tutorials team is really cool, actually. They, because um, normally you hear the word tutorials and you're like, Ooh, that's not my favorite place Learning. to be in a game. Learning. Learning is hard. No, it's not. It's fun. Yeah. And they've done a really good job of making it something that like people can enjoy playing. Um, so, uh, like, uh, yeah. Uh, and they'll teach you how to do everything, like logic, character creation. We have more coming. That's one of the things we've really been building on in early access. Mm. So I remember I was watching uh, the old was it PlayStation event or an E3 when Dreams was announced, and they said it had been in, already been you know worked on for about four years at that point. That was maybe yeah. Now it's like eight. Eight, yeah, I've, I've been on it for uh, eight years, so yeah, it's, it's a long old development, but there's, mm. so, there's so much complexity and everything to your dreams <laughs> that it's taken that long to sort of answer all the questions that we posed ourselves mm. while making dreams. Right. And what's it like now that you're finally out in people's hands? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Like, there's a, there's a hashtag called hashtag Made in Dreams, mm. and you search Twitter for it, and like, Every couple of minutes, like new and amazing pieces of yeah. art and games and music are coming in, and it just makes it's me so, so inspiring. Happy. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's I, been really fun, especially when we travel and we can't like get on uh, Dreams and play and mm. see what's being like new and published. It's really exciting mm. to be able to just look at that and be like, "Oh my God, did you see what this person is making?" And you know, people are just so different, and they all bring something like new and interesting and exciting to it. And like that's been incredible. Let's play a couple of our like maybe our like our favorite. Uh, uh, things. Can you think of one? Of, oh, I know. This, can you do the one you like? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. sure. Go for it, you don't, you. Uh, I think it might be in Dream uh, Shaping. I don't know if it's in if it's in this one. Uh, we'll just do it again. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, this one's cool because, like, the, the cool thing about Dreams is you don't have to just make games. You can mm. just make experiences, and and Dreams will be the kind of place where you can only get these kind of experiences mm -hmm. because. There's just nowhere else you can make this and assemble this together. And right. This is the thing that I live for. To see this like. Out. And I won't play the whole thing. I'm just gonna get like a little bit in, and then. But I recommend if you have dreams, like go check this out. Yeah. It's very cool. And meanwhile, you just think of like one that you really. 
and they do updates. So like I follow this creation and like this was a new update. We're like, cool, now there's subtitles. Oh, so we can awesome. click on subtitles with yeah. R1. And this person does really incredible sculpture and made themselves a museum. Yeah, it's a museum for their sculptures. So they, they got good the tools and they made mm -hmm. these sculptures. So then they were like, oh, let's make a museum. Put them down, they put a narrative into it. Welcome to the house of Beavis. And they've recorded themselves saying that. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Yeah, you can record yourself into the microphone and uh, uh, you can, so you can do voiceover for your characters or for your games and mm -hmm. make instruments out of your voice or your cat's voice, done that, that's <laughs> fun. But like, Look at that. So like I said, this person does really incredible, cool sculptures. Oh, wow. And there's all these interactive Can I ask you kind of a weird question? question? Uh, this was also newly added. Yeah, they've, they've been working on this for a while. They keep mm. regularly adding updates, and it's just really cool to see them all come through. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then, <laughs> like, so as you go through, <laughs> you, there's like all of these rooms with these cool stuff, you know, and 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 just these interactive bits. And like, this is the stuff I live for. Like, I'm really interested in seeing you know, what people make that isn't necessarily games, but is. Um, I, I don't. How do you describe? I, just, I don't know anymore. Yeah. You know? Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll stop here, but like, it's a, this is actually much longer. It's impressive how long some of the experiences yeah. people have, have created. People make like haunted houses and tons of, what are you going to go for? I think I'm going to show, so Media Molecule, we made a game called Tear Away for anyone who mm. don't know. And just recently, like this week. Um, oh, Pig Detective's really good time. Pig Detective. Oh, Pig Detective, yeah, we should, should but um, they remade all the, Tearaway characters, so it hit oh. me right in having worked right in the field, it hit me right yep. in the fields. So let's go to browse all. Right, so it's tearaway. And we're starting to get some real prolific creators who are really sort of starting to stand up. Mm. You know, there's like a whole bunch of like dream superstars who are starting to emerge, mm -hmm. and it's just great to see this sort of genesis of them growing. Oh. Yeah. And so this is a collection. Anybody can make collections. So mm -hmm. you can curate your favorite content. You can give people. So one of the updates that we're doing soon for dreams is um, some collections of content that people can build uh, their own levels from. Mm -hmm. um, and this is makes it really easy for people. I like doing building kind of architectural stuff and, and uh, like, not houses, but more like, I don't mean museums, I don't know, they're just my own things, but like it's almost, you can almost go shopping in the Dreamiverse, being right. like, cool, I need a window, I need uh, a table, I need this, it's just really, it's pretty like cool. Sims. Yeah. So people, stuff. Yeah, so people curate stuff and it's incredibly helpful. Yeah, we should actually have a look at collections, so a few, if we go into collection, and you can see these, a bunch of collections, like this person has assembled nature assets and you know there's no I have used this collection <laughs> and it's just really handy that people are starting to become curators and mm. that's all they're focusing yeah. on being like the person who does the top 10 mm -hmm. mechs this week you know and you want to be featured on that yeah. list mm. here's my favorite levels here's my fit you know this mm. is, you can kind of collect anything it doesn't have to just be and then uh, just grab assets. any of these and put them in your level where yeah. you just have a look at them and see if it's what you like. Oh, that's an interesting fire, you know, and then you can take it or not take it. You can liken it, comment. Yeah. So if, if, you are, if I wanted to be a curator or, you know, a, a creator at all, like how am I going to sort of rise in visibility within dreams and how am I going to get myself out there to the community? Make really good collections. Make really good stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there is a recommendation system that's built into to dreams, and obviously, like getting you know likes and and attention. How many you know times your things get used? Um, we also a lot you know a lot of people take to uh, you know the dreams community outside of dreams mm -hmm. to share that kind of stuff to promote what they've been doing. This um, is a really really cool creator. He, he his whole thing has kind of been pushing the um, visual fidelity of mm -hmm. dreams to. Uh, like as far as it will go, um, and it's really cool stuff. Very, you know, like very different from mm. some of the other creations people make. It's really neat. Wow. Beautiful work. Mm. What kind of people are you noticing are picking up?
dreams? Are they, you know, game developers in their own right, artists, or just, you know, people? It's like everything. Yeah, so I know the person who made this is a music teacher uh, in New York. Wow. So, you know, this is what he ended up. Um, I've seen people who were, like a student, recently used it to complete their coursework and submit their final piece. So we can share those. So, yeah, we yeah. Can, yeah, we can. Um, so we have this account that we um, publish lots of things from called the Dream Queen. Yeah. And uh, so when you get in the game, you can follow uh, us. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we do streams and stuff, oftentimes we publish. Uh, well, we, we do publish. If When we create something on a stream, we publish it. But also each week we publish a set of community creations. And it's mm -hmm. sort of like what people at MM have noticed or are playing or think is cool. Uh, it's by no means an exhaustive list. Mm -hmm. um, there's like so much going on. Um, but it's a really sort of fun way. So this is what John was talking yeah. about. David. This is this person, yeah. This, this is, uh, they made a whole scene, but this is one of the characters that mm. were in it. So they're a student and they've made this. Um, yeah. It's people who aspire to, you know, to do creative things, um, people who want to learn how to do creative things. Uh, it's really for anyone. Like, I don't think we have, like, just one kind of person who plays right. dreams. Um, and in fact, it's really interesting to have people who don't necessarily um, engage with like games, you know, like people who specifically are there to do art or, you know, stuff that we don't necessarily consider like traditional games making, it's all sorts of things. Oh yeah, this is really cute. And people have really started to sort of go into specialities as well. You can mm. imagine there's a person who does all the stationary modeling, you know, and he's like the stationary guy, you know, or there's yeah. a lady who does nothing but the, you know, etheric music or something, you know, mm. it's really great how people are just seeing we found it. their niche, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, you know, some people are generalists and other people like have a really specific like, oh, I want to make, you know, this is the kind of thing I want to make. Uh, we have some amazing character uh, makers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just the, the, the breadth of all the things we've started to see is yeah. blowing our minds. And like you don't need to be really like skilled to make mm -hmm. something that like other people will use on their level or that other people will uh, discover Dream is actually the first 3D creation software I've ever used. So, yeah. and I love making stuff, and I find it really relaxing. Like it's a super zen thing, like adult coloring book style <laughs> sort of. I guess creation. you can make that. Yeah, in Dreams you can make a little zen garden. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. There probably yeah. might even be one. Yeah, I don't know. Is. If not, we have a void to fill. Yeah, I feel like I should. I should, <laughs> I should look for zen just to see. Oh, this is on the Dream Queen, isn't it? So yeah, you're on the Dream Queen, so you can see it. like our weird like generative <laughs> music, pom yeah. Pomeranian. <laughs> Uh, performance. Oh, and we do some weird stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. So, uh, in fact, show the pumpkin. Show, show the pumpkin. I was going to say, is this let's the, get is weird. the weirdest? Let's weird. Yeah, let's, let's see. Weird. What let's is the weirdest weird. stuff in dreams you, right now? That, oh. I mean, yeah. oh, the train like. one was hilarious. But so, um, <laughs> we did a 12 hour stream when we launched mm. Early Access. And at one point, we were sort of, what should we do? We, we have a producer who loves. Pomeranian. So he just said, make a Pomeranian, John. I went, okay, so I made a, Pomer a Pomeranian. And now it's spread out into the community and everyone- People have been making games with it. it. They've made Hungry Hungry Poms. Pom Pilot. Or Pom Pilot. I appreciate or the, the pom snoots. Yeah, yeah. Or Boop the Snoots. Electric Boop the Snoots. <laughs> so you just need to- <laughs> You know, it's just- and the, the remixing is amazing. That that pom I made in. Well, show the pom. Yeah, we show our original mm. pom, yeah. and then show how the pom gets terrifying. You know. Oh, the pom gets. So the, yeah, like this didn't we didn't originally start as Mount Pom more here, mm. but um, oh wow! If you go down to, down here, you can see our original pom, which is like static and everything. We ended up adding a tongue, and then we made pomeranians out of pomeranian yeah, heads. If you, if you look mm. at the legs of the pomeranians, it's all you pomeranian. like oh, pomeranian, so you know. <laughs> so I've been reading Sandman recently, like the Neil <laughs> Gaiman. This is all a bit. Very much kind of what I was envis envisaging when I was reading that. Oh yeah, yeah, just, that's just, just fair. Yeah, I, it's just and then so people have taken it, like make it, a, you know, made it a little walking character, <laughs> and I, yeah. oh, people are so fun. And, like doing something like that doesn't take a lot of time. You basically, yeah. just stamped it onto a puppet and made the, you know, our, our sort of default biped in the game, and because um, uh, like, we give people a puppet that they can build off of and use in their uh, creations. Mm. Um, but it's so funny, and I love that kind of stuff. Like, I'm happy for things to just be silly and weird and yeah. simple. It makes me feel happy that, so I made that one. I love the fact that it's everywhere, it's being remixed. Yeah. I mean, the, the feeling I get, and it comes back, like, the notification says, this has been used in 65 Likes and comments and, and yeah. Played 100 hours, and you know, you're just like, oh, that feedback loop of yeah. engagement is really good. Yeah, it's super Something fun. I made is 
enriching so many people. Oh yeah, and I guess all you need to do is you know something simple that gets used, mm -hmm. and you know like, and it can be used in thousands of dreams. Like it'd be quite funny to get this and make it a Pomeranian spaceship. You know, you I mean, yeah, we could. There's no reason why we couldn't do that. Do that. Um, and see the sort of breadth of things you can make, you know, from mm. space shooters like this. To yeah, there's like every genre, every you know, and lots of things that aren't games that are you know just exciting to play around in and and see. So. Close mind. Perhaps we should do some. Let's make something. Let's do some oh, crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> let's make like maybe like a bit of a level or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. See where we see where we end up. So. Cool. I'm going to make a game scene. So this is where you start. So if you were just to go in like cold, this mm -hmm. is what your, uh, this is sort of your, your uh, creation space. Right. And we need a character. And so T-Rex. T-Rex, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Which was made by someone with the name Sloth, where you said it. So like, that's how I came up in our this Sloth This has all search. come full circle. Yeah. yeah okay, so it's good. I know there is a fully articulated T-Rex one. I don't know if this is oh, it. Oh, is this but not? This I don't not, know. This I, could be. Let's go to play mode and see if we can um, Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm like, pretty happy with that. Wow! Look at that. Cool. We've just borrowed a T-Rex. Borrowed a T-Rex. Perfect. This is a good. This is a good mm -hmm. start. This is a strong I start. Think, I think like uh, you know. Best thing is to start with a T-Rex. So yeah. now we need some ground for the T-Rex. So okay. Let's just search for. We could just make some, some pretty quickly. Grass. Oh yeah, we could do that. Let's do that. That's easy. We'll show off the soft good. land. Good. Mm. Good. Yeah. Let's make some trees and some grass. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, so John is in the sculpt tool right now, mm -hmm. and um, John's preference is to sculpt with the move controllers, but mm -hmm. actually you know, everything is made to work with either one. So okay. uh, we can also use the DS4. So he's just using that to smear some you know, a, a, a shape down on the ground and make us a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, land. And I'm going to try and make it look a bit more grassy. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to loosen it up. The cool thing is like Dreams is a very painterly engine, so you can do stuff that's very like hard, uh, but you can also just do like you know, soft, nice grass. Mm -hmm. You've just made grass and like... Yeah. 10 seconds. Good grass. So how is this all tutorialized to uh, new players? Because obviously, I mean, you, you're giving so many options for people. Yeah. How do you eke that out over time? Um, so we start, like, so when you start in the game, the first thing that you'll need to do uh, when you get in is complete a, a, a basic or start dreaming tutorial, um, which just shows you, like, like a, it's a very simple in, and then each of the different level or each of the different areas. So art, animation, logic, music. Mm -hmm. um, we have tutorials and more on the way for all of those. Um, and we try to make them. Our tutorial team really tries to make them uh, really sort of fun and engaging, mm -hmm. and um, I try to make it like not not daunting for people. Yeah. Um, but the more you get into it, and what I really like about it is everything happens on screen. So like as you're as you're learning all the different you know bits of creation. Um, you can just see it happening in front of you, so it, it gives you visual feedback on what you're doing, mm -hmm. which I find to be really helpful as someone who's pretty new to the creation space. Um, but also, everything applies to everything else. So, like John is basically taking this piece of land and cloning it out. Um, and but if he was to open a timeline and start a music track, like he can use that same, he can take that same principle mm -hmm. and use and apply it to creating music. So, like everything is meant to really work together. Um, and everything in Dreams has sort of a, a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced uh, bit. So everything that we're going to show pretty much right now is all, uh, you know, the very basic mm -hmm. bit of it. He's using our uh, sculpt tool to make a little tree. Um, and the sculpt tool is like using digital clay. Mm -hmm. like it's really sort of satisfying to just smear around and make shapes. And um, But if you wanted to get, if you want to get like super advanced with it, I mean, we have a tutorial that teaches you how to, you know, sculpt a torso. Um, is that all within the game, or do you yeah, have to go on YouTube? Yeah, all within, all within the game. All within the game, yeah. Yeah. Um, and our, you know, on our uh, streams, like right now we're you know, showing a lot of community uh, stuff, but we also do, we have you know, creation streams and we show people how to make stuff. And we have a forum where people can go and ask. And, and, and our community is also just incredibly helpful. And you know, everybody has, because everybody has different techniques. Like John just made a tree very quickly, but like I, if you ask every person at our studio, everybody has a different way that they make a tree. Um, yeah, and it, who's cool. the Bob yeah. Ross of Medium Kareem. Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> Kareem's our art director, and oh, he totally is. Like, you can just watch him create for hours. It's very soothing. I find it very relaxing. He's definitely our Bob He's Ross. He's definitely, yeah. like, I mean, the, the speed of our answer certainly yeah. testifies oh, yeah. to... Yeah, that was, that was that a was pretty <laughs> no-brainer uh, question. Bob Ross 
yeah. questions. And so John can just take this tree and he can just clone it and you know and start making a space. And at any point he can hop into play mode and walk around as his character. So mm -hmm. really, when you're building gameplay, especially, it's so useful to be able to be like, cool, that platform is the wrong distance, or yeah. you know, and, and test everything out as you play it. And of course, you can always publish things for the community to be your testers as well. So what should we add? What I'm going to look at some rocks very quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just really cool that you can just start, you know, it, you may not be a sculptor, you know, mm -hmm. so you just, but you can just come in here and look for rocks. So let's have a look. There we go, rocks. Let's use these ones. So if I make something within Dreams, what are my kind of, my rights, I guess? Like, yeah. like do I own it? Do you guys own it? Am I putting it out in the world and everyone owns it? Um, so yeah, that's sort of a multi-threaded uh, question. Mm -hmm. So um, like, if you make something and it's your copyright and you make it in Dreams, like you still own that copyright. Like mm -hmm. We don't take that from you. Um, as far as like letting other people play and share things, um, we give you lots of options. Mm -hmm. So if you make this mm -hmm. and say you're like, I like this, um, but I don't really want to share it with the rest of the thing, you save it privately on your PS4, mm -hmm. that's it. That's your, you know, like that's just, you see it. Um, but you could also choose to add a collaborator. So if like you and I wanted to work on something mm -hmm. together, you could add me and then only I can see this and we can work on it together until we're happy with it. Um, but additionally, you could also publish it mm -hmm. and you could publish it so that it's playable so that like anybody can go in and they can check it out and play and, and run around, but they can't make any changes to it. Or you can make it remixable, which means that anybody could come in here and make their own version of it. So mm -hmm. it kind of depends on like what you want other people to be able to do with mm -hmm. that. So you can you know have stuff that's sort of gated off um, or stuff that you know you share with everyone. We encourage people to share, but I totally yeah. understand why somebody would be like, "No, this is mine. This is my precious." So, um, yeah. Just change the lighting as well. Wow. Really yeah. So the sun's got kind of is so cool. This is like one of the things like when we talk about accessibility, um, you know, of the tools and dreams. Like mm -hmm. this is a great example because it's like you literally are just moving the sun in the sky. Anybody can flip through this tweak menu and mm -hmm. see the difference that it's making in their level and see the changes uh, that are going on. And um, this gadget, the grade and effects gadget, mm -hmm. is like sort of our like filters. So oh, wow. you know your brightness, your contrast, your like anybody can do this. It's not, uh, you know, it's not a really complicated thing, and you can make stuff that looks really cool. different. Oh, yeah, it's the eight-bit sort of uh, filter, um, and you can just play around and make something that like looks very unique and you. And how long has it been? Like three minutes? Yeah, yeah like yeah. super stylized, <laughs> and you have a level with a T-Rex walking around in it. Yeah, um, I mean, because that's the goal, and like mm -hmm. John could spend, you know, hours or days making something. Um, but we also want people to just be able to quickly like put something together and run around and play. Yeah. And we have one designer who did um, his uh, four-year-old son told a story, and he just made a level to go along with it, and it just follows the. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. that is so cool. Is he flexing his muscles. I just, I just like <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, and, and he just made something to go with it, mm -hmm. like a like a narrative about like a a, a pea in a pot, and mm -hmm. it's so cute. Yeah. And I I'm excited to see people use it in in ways that are uh, like really unique. I think there's a lot of opportunities for um, you know to do that kind of stuff and you know make stuff with your kids or yeah. make stuff with your friends. Like we do a lot of controller passing. We'll just be like, cool, your turn. You add something. Talking now. of which, we add some music. Sure. We? Yeah. Oh, like okay. Um, this is one of my favorite. Uh, features of dreams um, and we'll do we'll kind of go through all the different sections of this so basically that is this is that is the intro to art in dreams right. it, like stamping things in place you know basically like your set decorating mm -hmm. um, and we'll also show you a bit of the paint mode uh, which we use a lot to make like special effects and weather effects we'll show you a little bit of animation mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna hop straight into making music which is one of my favorite things so we have this sound mode, and you can use it to add uh, sound effects or ambience. Like, actually, let's start with some ambience. I think we could use That's a little bit of that. It's always small. nice. We always forget about that. Always it's important. Um, so if I go into our sound effects menu, we have all these preset sound effects mm -hmm. and things that people can use. You can also make your own, but like we try to start you off with like a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do I have to ambience. make it within Dreams itself, or can I upload a file? Um, so we do uh, allow audio import through the PlayStation microphone. Um, we have a second uh, screen app that allows that also, but we haven't activated that yet for early access. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can import your voice and, and stuff through the PlayStation microphone. So Which would have been in when we watched The House of Beavis, how he got the right. voices. Yeah. So. What do you think? So I can just imagine Sunday. the internet Sunday, yeah. importing like vines or something mm -hmm. into it mm -hmm. already. You can kind of see. The memes. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, means, totally. Yeah, the memes. The um, memes. So now we've added a little bit of ambience, and I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, like some butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> They're so well, loud, those butterflies. butterflies. Yeah. They're so loud. Um, <laughs> and so I'm going to grab a timeline. So if you've used like video editing software or something, like you have a basic understanding of how a timeline works. Mm -hmm. um, and we use that for everything. Like so, you could put animations on here. You could put effects. Like, you logic could you event, could logic events. Like you can um, put camera shots on it, so you actually are making like a, a cutscene. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna use it to make music, and you could do that all in the same timeline. I'm just showing. Oh wow! So yes. Yeah, everything is all linked, and the buttons that Abby will be using to like clone or copy or move is the exact same buttons I was using to clone, copy, and move yeah. when I was moving the trees oh, around. Gosh, so yeah. learning one part of Dreams will actually educate you on your other Yeah, and so we could, we also have a whole bunch of pre-made music tracks. So like if you just wanted to, you know, I think House Party seems super appropriate for our dinosaur yeah. level. Yeah. So if you want to see what like a fully, you know, this is this is the scary version of a music track Whoa. in Dreams looks like, this is the, you can actually watch all of this play and see the individual instruments mm -hmm. and like what's happening in them. Rave on and Fire of Whispers. Um, the names are good, the audio <laughs> yeah. and team at Media Molecule are really good at coming up with fun, but like, names. we don't need that. We're going to make our own track. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Um, so if you want to make your own sounds, like the, the the tools go really deep. So here is the the easy way to just do your own thing. So we have these music clips. All of these are uh, you know quantized in the same uh, time signature, so they all work together. Mm -hmm. um, so you can really just choose any random thing, and it should sound pretty good. Mm. So, uh, let's Crunchy Hop. Crunchy Hop, yeah. yeah. There's some really <laughs> funny names of things in here, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then something's really boring, they're just like a drum. And just you're like, okay, cool. Drum one. <laughs> so, what should we do? What sounds good? Choose oh. for us. Electro drums. Sure. Put some electro drums on So, there. I put that on this track here, and I could also just clone and copy that, like John was doing with these trees, which I've now just cloned and copied. Like, all of this stuff just works together. Mm -hmm. Or I could have dragged it out across the timeline, it also would have worked. So, let's choose some bass. Bass is good. You need a good bass. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be harder house to hear. Work bass loop. <laughs> well, let's just select our name alone, you know? Yeah. What do you. Uh, octopus bass, I think. Octave? Uh, Oct octopus. Top, top oh, left. sorry. Yeah. Let's, let's get octopus. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh! I mean, it's right? surprisingly yeah. Yeah. decent. Um, <laughs> I was like, octopus base, I'll definitely throw oh, it. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's like our, our audio team has <laughs> done a really cool job on the, on the yeah, sound smart. tools. So uh, now I'm going to get an instrument. Um, I'm not really a music person. I really enjoy creating music in dreams, but I, I have no musical ability really. So I usually go for synths because they're easy, but you have instruments, including like people singing and, or just saying meow, 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 meow. We abuse that instrument. It's, it's, it's for, it's a, for terrible it's people. Paper. Yeah. Um, so we have all of these. Wow. I'm kind of intrigued by swarm of bees. I know. <laughs> Just for the sure, let's, we're gonna we're going swarm of bees. So swarm of bees. I'm gonna open up this. This is what an instrument looks like in dreams. Oh wow! Okay. And and all I need to do to play this instrument is to press the face keys on the uh, controller. Mm -hmm. And these are effects fields, and you can actually make your own. We have a whole bunch that are you know since maybe adding reverb or. Uh, like any number of different effects that we have, uh, wobble. Um, but if I tilt the controller to the right, I get a higher octave, and if I tilt it to the uh, left, I get lower octaves. And like, so it's just like kind of like banging on and in, like banging on drums or something. Yeah. You can start to um, make some cool sounds. And so, if we uh, record, Let's I can't. I'm not gonna hear really <laughs> yeah. well. So the, we like, this sounds this terrible. This sense. actually is my fault, not the fault of dreams, unfortunately. Suitably terrible. Step. Oh. So, what's cool about this now is if I play this back, you can see everything I played. Oh. But, like, say you actually care about music, 
and <laughs> you wanted to see the piano roll, and then you wanted to be like, oh, that note sounded terrible. I'm gonna move back. That was back. the worst one. I looked at that. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna quote that. Now we have a chord, and I actually could have recorded in chords, or like, there's, it just goes pretty deep. It goes deep, yeah. Um, and then if you're like the super audio person, you can actually go into each individual sample and like, oh, oh yeah, my anyway, God. Goes, but I don't do that, so I'm just going to be happy with my regular swarm of bees and, and like not worry about that at all. We try adding tears to things, so everything is very <laughs> easily accessible at the very highest level. Yeah. And you can keep going down a step at a time, like Abby went from stamping a whole song to then putting in clips to then doing your own bit of music, yeah. but then like you could make your own instrument and you can go in and do all this well, thing and, so, and yeah, go as far as you want. I can also master this. And actually I can make a separate thing to sort of master the track that I've made. But if I was like, oh, my swarm of bees, like I like it, but maybe like 70% of the volume yeah. here. <laughs> uh, and we can have it loop in our level. Um, we can add, I mean, there's tons of different, if you really want to get into like granular synthesis, mm. like we offer that. So. There's, it, it, it can go, it goes. It sounds so cool, Granny Simpson. I don't know what it means, yeah. but I tell, I tell people and they're like, But really oh, good, doesn't whoa. it? And like yeah. super impressive when you, when you just drop that yeah, into. Granny yeah. yeah. Um But what's also cool is you can make your own uh, instruments. And like, that's one of the things that I find to be like the most fun in dreams. So if I grab this sound recorder. Well, Shall I? Yeah, you're gonna have to yell from here. I don't think you okay, should. Okay, no, I can't go. You okay, so what, what sound are we gonna make? Uh, just really up to you. I, I don't want to give you creative direction. Mm, I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna do like a, a sign, like oh. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, you know, do it. I'm like crazy. Okay, okay, so ready? three, two, one. Ah. That was really bad, but. No, it was it was beautiful. It was done. great. Thank so perfect. So now he's in, and like, so I could go into this mode, and I could just say like, you know what? Actually, like, let's cut out the. Mm -hmm. Sort of ends of this and edit this, and now we have John's uh, voice as an instrument. And what I could do now is I could go and maybe I want to add an effects field, you know, so I'd be like, cool, let's give it some chorus sounds. Ooh, good. a chorus of John's, I like it. Okay, so uh, a little wobbly, a little bit of wobble in there. Um, but <laughs> what I like the most about this mode is that with one button, I can click it to instrument. So now that I've made John's voice into an instrument, oh, and I completed an inquest. Um, Making some noise. Now it assigns all those to, diff to the different notes in the scale. You sound beautiful. Thanks. This is really nice. This, uh, this you have a gorgeous voice, John. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've always thought I had a gorgeous voice. And so, and like we could like, again, we could do like add additional tweaks to that and everything, but it's like a really quick, easy way to make something utterly ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You could do it with your, cat's voice like I have. <laughs> um, or you could, and we have chord settings, and so you know, you can go and you can say like, Make cool, me into a want, chord. You know. <laughs> You're beautiful, this is beautiful. Or we have an arpeggiator what, as well, happened? so this will play all the notes like in it. So, so you this is not this how is I not thought my day was gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up this morning, I did not. No. Okay. This is, is this what you guys hear when you listen listening to me? I mean, yeah, that's exactly like what you sound like. I didn't want to tell you until now. I thought I'd break it to you on the, uh, you know, game spot. I will never like, talk no. again. Okay. Um, so yeah, like that's just, and that's, so that's just the intro to uh, the sound mode. It is one of my favorite things to play with. Um, and it's hilarious. Should we show some uh, some of the rest? Do you want to show uh, animation? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Do you want to do the paint tool? We can alternate. I'll do a bit of both. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. I think I might. I'm, I'm going to do the paint tool to get some um, weather. And okay, use that to do cool. That. Yeah. So you saw me sculpting, and that's mm -hmm. like making big geometric things. But mm -hmm. we have a paint tool, and it's a bit like. I don't uh, want to turn my music off unless you oh, want to hear yeah. it every time. So <laughs> we work, you know, like time running my in voice. the level. So sure. when he starts timing the level, it will play the music that I have put. So you can just mute it for now. So you can just power it off, and uh, then just just for now. Just for now. Just for a little bit. I, I, I don't ambience. mind leaving the ambient because yeah. that's kind of it's nice. Sunny day is nice. So I'm going to go up into our paint mode, and I can just paint into. The air and you know, oh wow, 3D painting as it were. But we can use this for yeah. all kinds of. We have people cool who stuff. just make paintings. They're uh, gorgeous. It reminds know. me of um, uh, tilt brush a little bit. Mm, the, yeah. the vibe thing. So just we can doing it in 3D space. Yeah, absolutely. So we can we can make things physical. You know, so we, you know it's really easy to just start adding all kinds of stuff to it. We have all these different tweaks. So yeah. I'm going to add an animation. So while time's running, you can see it now. It's moving. It's moving mm. side and this is where we're getting like the, the tweak menus could look daunting, except that like all of you can see all the changes that you're making on the screen. Mm -hmm. And there's I, I've 
it's been really helpful for me to sort of have, like have like happy accidents where yeah. you're just like, oh, cool. Like I didn't know what this would do, but here we are. With now we have a glowy spark, and now we have fireworks. So. I do love the fact that the clone uh, icon is Dolly the Sheep. <gasps> yes! Good High call. Five. Good catch. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Well done. Big fan. Yep. That's amazing. I'm so glad you picked up on that. Yeah. So rarely do people get that bit and it's very satisfying. Yeah, I mean, that makes us very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you just make a firework like that with the straight tool. But I'm going to turn this You're exact making weather. Yeah, I'm going to make weather. So I just thought I'd show the firework. Oh, I thought we were just, it was going to be like fiery weather. rain and oh, this was no. oh. thing on fire. That would be maybe. Dinosaurs have suffered enough. They have suffered oh enough. Oh God, you are on a quest to destroy the dinosaurs. No, no I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm this not. was supposed to be a happy place. So I'm just going to undo the, the bits I did then. And you've, we've have essentially like an unlimited undo, so I can undo all the oh, way back good. to the very beginning of this level. That makes me feel a lot better. But you can yeah. also go forward if I you're think. like, oh, actually, yeah, I didn't mean to delete yeah, any yeah. of that. So. But I'm going to make it into rain. In fact, I'm going to just draw a new stroke entirely. So Thank you for not destroying the dinosaurs, John. Yes, I, I don't think I could handle that again. No, no, it was bad enough the first time. So I'm going to pretend to be what, rain, 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 rain. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. I've got rain's to. Good. I'm like going rain. to like channel my inner rain and draw like. A we're rain from England. Stroke. With, like we're yeah, familiar true, with the subject true. matter. Yeah, yeah. I miss it every day. <laughs> Coming from LA uh, now, it's very. It's like, what is this? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, I'm so not prepared. I have drawn some rain strokes in the air, but to make them look like more like rain, I'm going to add some animation to them. I'm just going to speed that up. First, that shorter. I'll make it glow a little bit so we can see them, so we can mm -hmm. see the rain effects. And then what I want to do is I just go to our clone option and we say clone around the camera, mm -hmm. and that means it will start to appear everywhere in the level. Mm -hmm. oh. You can just fine tune this a little bit. You can make it a bit more random. And we could add a rain sound effect. We can add, oh. we can add a rain sound effect. We can make it a bit more. We've got to change our ambience up now. It's mm. not yeah. a sunny day. No, it's true. That is true. And just shorten that a little bit more. So it's, there we go. That's that's my rain. And everywhere we go in the level now, it's going to be oh, raining. Okay. So let's change the ambience, like you say. Let's have a look in the sound mode and search and sound effects. That's effects fields, not sound effects, John. That's the one. It's probably in the nature. Yeah. Yeah, what have we got? Jungle Night. And you can actually have sound effects that, like, sound effects can be instruments also, so mm. you can, like, play a thunderstorm, which is really satisfying. Oh. Uh, so if you wanted to make your own ambience for your thing, I think if you go out, the yeah, water, check water. Oh, yeah. distant ocean. ocean, swamp. Marshlands. I feel this is like watery places. I feel like someone from the audience oh, is weather. watching us. Weather, weather, there we go. You idiots, look in the weather. Yeah, oh, sorry. Torrential rain. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and it's a bit sunny, okay. so we can change the uh, sun and sky. Oh, yeah, we should have. We should have. Let's make it a bit more gray. Green and oh, gray. Oh, there we yeah, go. There That's we go. That one. And we can turn the sun you know, a little bit. Ooh. Darker. Turn the sun down. Turn the sun down. Yeah. And now we can show you animation. Let's Which we it. did, in a way, because that is yeah. one piece of well, yeah, animation sort of in dreams. Together. What are you going to animate? Um, well, uh, I don't know yet, John. That's, that's the beauty of these demos. <laughs> I don't know. Um, though what's really cool about the animation tool is um, puppetry is really important to dreams. Like right. Performance is... Um, I think performance has been always one of the design goals of dreams. That like it would be interesting yep. to watch somebody make something. It would be interesting to like basically perform game development. Mm -hmm. Like John and I do a lot of live demos together, so like we're, we will like make things based on audience suggestions really fast. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have done live performance in dreams using the music tool and basically like a VJ set of art and animation in the background. Mm -hmm. um, but puppetry and animation is, is a big part of uh, creating. And it's a really easy access point if mm -hmm. you have never done animation before. Yeah. So much like when I put that like sound recorder down, the camera recorded what John said next. This mm -hmm. records what I do with the controller next. So oh, wow. for example, if I was like, this rock, it will be a platform in the game. And it'll lift this up. Obviously, this is a terrible platform. But if I you know, move that rock up and down, when I play back time in the level, like that rock will do exactly what I just did with the controller. Ooh. So, you know, that's an easy way to like, if you were, for example, making a platformer and I can decide like, oh, I didn't like that. But I also have options to uh, like re-record it. I have options to 
tweak it, make it, make it loop, um, and sort of play around with it to do what I want it to. Mm -hmm. But I say, like, maybe that's not what I wanted. Maybe we Can are actually making back? a... He deleted my brain. Oh, I'm so oh sorry, no. John. <laughs> I'll go. I'm fast forwarding through. I'm so sorry. I, I think what I'm doing. I'm oh, oh, did I? Um, I deleted the wrong. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm so right, sorry. There. there we go. My, my beautiful rain <laughs> went. Was this the? Was this? Yeah. It's because there's, there's so much rain. It was hard mm. to like delete oh, the I, thing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So one of the other things that we let you do is record obsession. So now Ooh. when I do this, like let's say we wanted to make like a T-Rex cutscene, we would. Or T Rex walks and what did you L1, do to get him L1 to? Is it L one? Yeah, yeah. No. And then L two, L two, like it's L one and like one of them does the <laughs> roar and one of them does the yeah. No. <laughs> um, and the funny thing is too is uh, because if you leave the sound recorder on, which actually I may have, I'm not even sure I turned it off. It is actually recording. You oh, can record your voice in, oh, and you yeah. can so you can you can really puppet your characters. Yeah. Um, you know, so when we play back, like the dinosaur will like walk through the scene and do what I told it to do. Mm. And we can set up cameras and, and um, you know, and our, our, our characters are set up like puppets. So you can move them with the dual shock and it's really fun. And I can make that, like the end of that, like I didn't obviously make it go anywhere. We can set it to loop, we can set it, you know, so you don't get that mm. awkward like snap back. In fact, one of my favorite things I've seen on the community so far mm -hmm. is someone made a children's television Sock educational puppet program, really sock good. puppet show, but with like really strong Scottish oh, accents. Amazing. Yeah. And they, the two presenters, which were giraffes, wanted to fight each other over the cubes that they were trying to educate, the different mm -hmm. shapes to the kids. It's so funny. It is it's really so, funny. And it's just the basically the sort of puppet yeah. animation. It's amazing. Cool. Um, and, and the cool thing is that, you know, so like I said, like if you, if you learn one thing, you can, you know, sort of translate it into another thing. So if I wanted to, um, you know, make the weather change and the sun has to be a part of that, I would take that action recorder and I would just move the sun and it's recording me moving the sun. And like, that's the kind of stuff that like, it's like once you learn one skill, you can start to learn how it applies to everything else. Mm -hmm. And you have those you eureka moments where you're just like, <gasps> I wonder if I can, and then you try it, and you go, oh my god, I can, because all the systems it. and dreams yeah. are linked mm -hmm. together. And I mean, we're showing you like the silliest applications mm -hmm. of these. <laughs> like when you see what our you know community has been making, it's uh, you know uh, we're we're blown away. But um, you know these are these are the building blocks of that. What do you want to? Oh, cameras, we've got cameras. Yeah, let's um, have a couple of cameras. I don't know what's here. your favorite thing to. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, we can have I mean like we can do a trigger zone. Um, yeah, let's, 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 let's just do yeah, let's, some basic logic programming. Because we haven't really shown logic that's yet. That's true, that's true. So, so uh, kind of. These are all our logic tools here. Mm -hmm. And we have things that all kinds of sensors here. So I'm just going to use a trigger zone. And you can see it's like a, an area mm -hmm. which when a thing that you specify goes inside of it, it will output a signal. In this case, by default, it's looking for puppets. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that up here because I know that Abby puppeteered up to here. And then what's going to happen? Oh, I know this. So I'm going to make this tree fall down when the puppet, when the T Rex gets up here, yeah. as if it's cool. stamping through the environment. And again, using the animation tool, let's go get that one up, stick it in there so it's in the right area. I'm going to get the tree and kind of animate it falling over. Sorry. <laughs> Something like that. And that's that. why it's freaking out. <laughs> And then I can just get this to play once and wire in that trigger zone into there. Should probably make a T Rex play once too, or should have done that, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. And that's the nice thing about dreams, like everything's yeah. so flexible. None of you know, none of this stuff really takes up long. So you can just be like, oh cool, we need to make that tweak, need to fix this thing. Oh no, I don't think you don't quite get into the trigger zone, I don't think. Oh no. <laughs> move it, just move the trigger just, zone. Just move the trigger zone. Yeah, go. There you go. There's a lot of like sort of trial and error of, mm. of this stuff, which is like super satisfying. Uh, it mm. might also be looking for a possessed puppet. I believe. Oh, and yeah, it isn't there possessed. There we go. Yeah, so because we're not inside of it, it's just it's just a recorded one. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for. You could add a tag. Uh, you could add. A, yeah, a tag, any kind of thing. So we're looking for all control sensors this time, which is the clever thing inside the puppet, which says to bring its life and then the tree falls down. Look at that. Yeah. And this is like real game development, right? You you do things, you go, oh, that didn't quite work, and then it's mm. almost like looking for the bugs in it, but I find looking for the bugs in dreams is actually quite enjoyable. Because it's mm. like, oh, yeah. I know what I kind of did there. Oh, I did it. And you have these moments where of serendipity where <laughs> trying to fix one thing or a bug that appears actually leads you on a completely different path. Of yeah. John does a lot of live problem solving. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but it is, it's really fun and that's how you learn and like, mm -hmm. you know, especially because like John is coming from a total create background where, mm -hmm. you know, he uses the tools every day. He's amazing with them. Um, he knows like the ins and outs of like literally everything. And I was coming in from it from a completely mm -hmm. amateur, no, like no experience, no nothing, um, you know, and it's fun. Like we do demos together and we can, you know, pass the controller and do different stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, it's, it's really cool to, to be able to both make something that's fun. Mm -hmm. um, coming from like totally different angles of it. What's the kind of, um, I guess, outcome you want to see from people who use Dreams? You want to see mm. people using it as a vehicle to actually get into game development themselves? John is a great example of that. John was a uh, builder before he joined Media Molecule, mm. and his community creations in Little Big Planet were so outstanding that the studio hired him, and now he's the senior principal designer on Dreams. Um, we would love that to happen, uh, you know, not just at MM, like we'd love that to happen at other game studios. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, I mean, my story of getting into the industry through playing Little Big Planet, making stuff in Little Big Planet, and then going to work for the people who made Little Big Planet sort of makes sense because I was making Little Big Planet levels. Mm -hmm. But Dreams, because you can make everything in it, I can imagine it being the route into lots of industries, not just the games mm -hmm. industry and not just into the, not into MM, as Abby says, you know, mm -hmm. I can imagine people making their portfolios in this and applying to Naughty Dog or Santa Monica or TV studios or mm -hmm. art exhibitions, you know, I can imagine it just being applied everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And I guess it removes that barrier of entry, you know, you don't need to spend all that money on animation software, Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And there's a total, um, well, exactly, and, and, you know, it sort of gives, you know, lots of people a chance to express themselves mm. and, you know, especially hobbyists and people who just want, like, I find, personally find it just like a very relaxing thing to mm. do, like, I enjoy just messing around with it. I don't really, like, I don't have any, you know, ulterior motive for that. I just think it's fun and, and it's it's cool as an amateur to be able to like do something that you know sometimes looks really impressive, and I think get a little lighting as in lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can imagine uh, like, <laughs> this is a backseat uh, game development. <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, Should be annoying, but it is actually fun to collaborate mm. on stuff. I can imagine um, you know like architects or interior designers using it to yeah. Yeah. You know, make for um, previs or yeah. you know like prototyping mm. and. I mean um, schools is yeah, the big one that can we leave just, that education. We yeah. just had Girls Make Games at the studio doing a like a day uh, workshop in Dreams and it was so cool to see what they made. Yeah. Um, and also like they were able, you know, they made music too, which uh, like was super fun for them to just be able to do like everything all in one. Mm -hmm. um, it was really it was it was amazing to like watch them and see what they, you know, came out and created. Really hard levels, they were punishing. <laughs> yeah, they were punishing. Yeah. They were punishing, but it was amazing to see. Uh, yeah, and I think we're, you know, we're also hoping to see people, I mean, like, games are amazing, like, we, we love games, we're a game studio, mm -hmm. like, we are excited to make games for dreams, but there's so many other things that we can do, like, those performance aspects that we were talking about, and, um, you know, so being able, like, we have a, a sound in, uh, sound programmer who's going and doing, like, a live generative music show at, like, a rave <laughs> <laughs> next month, and probably describe that horribly, but, like, it's so cool, mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I can see applications for, museums and for um, just designing new experiences that like people who are interested in games and 3D creation are like great at, oh you're killing the dinosaurs aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm making mm -hmm. a nice warming fire. Yeah, nice. Oh, so he can just know. warm his tiny little, 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 little yeah. No, he's, he's destroying he's them with a meter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean you might as well now John, you've already started. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, I think, and I think everybody at Media Molecule has like a different angle that they come at it from. We have lots of people who are interested in the educational side. We have people that are interested in the artistic side and, um, you know, we're interested in working with people on the, you know, like animated film side and mm. it's cool. Like, we don't know. I, I, I like, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen um, a year from now. Uh, and it's, that's what's really exciting about it too. I think people will surprise us. I think they'll just think of things to do with it that we never thought of. Absolutely. That's I mean, they already got They already have. <laughs> have. They well, have. Like, whenever you work on a game, somebody in inevitably does something with that game, whether it's finding an exploit or, or something that, like, you didn't account for, or you're like, how did you do that? I mean, all the time in this. Uh, yeah. Like, we talk about one where somebody made a um, made an entire game out of the text gadget in our beta, and it was <sighs> like, oh. And <laughs> we're still discovering stuff. Like John will do something in a demo where I'll just be like, "How did you? Oh, How cool!" Did you do that? And like we learn from each other at the mm -hmm. studio all the time. Yeah. So yeah. that's really. And fun. I would say it's like encouraged in 
dreams as you know it's not like an <laughs> exploit and like damn we're gonna have to bu fix that it's more like, <laughs> it's like whoa that's cool what else can we do with it you know um so like that all that stuff is really exciting Post apocalyptic now. Oh, no. oh god i mean this is <gasps> just got tragic i mean that is the thing is you can go from no this is his favorite tree yeah we should have had you record the like dinosaur like <gasps> no <laughs> but we could we could just publish this from uh brian's account oh, we should and then do that, uh yeah. and then challenge people to remix it okay yeah, so let's do that brian just, we, and we shouldn't tell brian <laughs> By the way, he's just gonna get he all the notifications. Just, he should he should find out like when this you know like when people are doing. I just like where is this? Like why? <laughs> Good, yeah, let's okay. do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna record my voice very quickly. Okay. Then doing the, the okay, no. we'll be quiet. Here we go. No. Okay, you're gonna have to add some reverb and you're gonna have to pitch it down. I think or pitch higher. Down. Or higher. I know. <laughs> I was just like, what am I on the other? It's good. Um, this is actually, this is like what we're doing right now is really one of my favorite things though. Like when we get together and like we're at events and stuff, like sometimes we will just like go to someone's hotel room and pass the controller and make something ridiculous no. and like. And ditch it down a little bit. No. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's see, let's see how that looks. Okay. Right, sort of All right. Now. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. And then you can just, and it's fun. just, it's just, it's so easy to just move things and about there. Oh yeah, okay. try it. So this is the beginning of yeah. the or the end. Story. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like we come here with like no idea what we yeah. actually want to do. Yeah, it just we turns had, into we like had whatever zero else. Idea. We we tend to make John do like we'll like we'll uh, we'll just name animals John that we at least don't think John has ever heard of, mm -hmm. and we'll be like mash them up into one animal, and then. You know, we would just keep like building up at that, so we just end up with like ridiculous or Pomeranians made yeah. out of other Pomeranians. So yeah. they never give me reference photos either. They're like, make this animal jump. You've Sometimes never heard we of, ask, and you're like, no, I don't want them. So that's, oh, that's not really our that's, fault. Yeah, what? Um, John thought a pangolin was a monkey, and it still amuses me. But then when I got to make an actual pangolin, it was pretty. They're so cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, because we pangolin. have this. Um, it's like a um, armadillo almost, but not. Oh. Quite. It looks like an armadillo and an aardvark kind of combined. Right. Yeah. The scaly thing. Well, actually, show the if you show the iterative like clone uh, oh, yeah, cloning yeah, yeah, bit, that, like yeah, that yeah. is one way that like John makes really cool stuff for animals, and this probably isn't the best way to explain how it works for a pangolin, but. Um, <laughs> you can drag out and then you can clone between as many oh, clones as you okay. want. So it's good for making like scaly armor, scaly yeah, yeah. armor kind things of. or toes or like I don't know tails. That are you, where are you going? Yeah. Don't know. Um, okay. But then you can like multiply that by, and then you can like space the like yeah. Oh, it's just I. This is one of my favorite things to play with. And there's also like a one that mirrors things and a kaleidoscope tool. And like you start combining all this stuff and you get some really like bizarre cool results and oh, yeah. that's one of my favorite things about dreams is like I think I said earlier like the happy accidents and yeah. like what it's is this? Like, I don't what know. What is that? I don't know. It's a thing. Hooray. Delete it. Cool. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. yeah. Like, <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that's what's so cool about dreams is just a happy accident mm -hmm. and it makes you not it makes you less precious. You, yeah. you, you haven't spent five hours to move one tweak. You've done something and you go yeah <laughs> and move on and so yeah. it leads to really cool ex explorations and happy accidents. I love it. It's mm -hmm. the best for that. I feel no pressure over delete. I can, I, I would just delete it now and it would have no impact on me, you know, whereas. Yes, yeah. we've still learned from the experience. Except exactly. that we need to publish it for, publish it from, for, from, Brian. For, for, Brian. For, for Brian so Sh that. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's spot. publish it. I've so here's, here's, uh, cause you I'm asked so glad our community is really yeah. lovely and. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are we going to call it? Like, no, my tree. No, my tree. My <laughs> tree. <laughs> Exclamation mark. I, I love that like the whole world is being destroyed, but he's very concerned about that one <laughs> Just tree. Just one specific yeah. tree. Oh, he has good memories about that tree. When he used to sit under it as a young T-Rex. T T-Rex. Oh. Rex. Tree Rex. Oh, no. <laughs> we at, at Meeting Molecule, we like puns, like mm. unash un unabashedly enjoy puns. Oh, yeah. Love a pun. Love a yeah. good pun. Love a pun. So cool. I've saved that now, and that would be saved onto the PS4, yeah. locally. Mm -hmm. And and there are also auto saves as you go. So like if you if something say. crashed and like don't worry, like we 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 have thought of that. You won't lose hours yeah. worth of work. 
And now I can save a version, and I can save this just to my PS4. Mm -hmm. And that means, imagine, like, I'm making a level, and then I'm like, oh, I want to, I'm going to try something crazy now. I'm not sure if it's going to work. You save a version, mm -hmm. and then you end up going down the wrong path. You're like, I didn't like any of this. You can just go back to any of your previous versions. It mm -hmm. saves mm -hmm. all of them. And a lot of our, uh, you know, community uh, like to put in version notes. So, like, hey, here's what I updated. Here's what I changed. Um, this is what's different. Or, you know, potentially notes to people who are playing it. Like, hey, if you could test this thing out. Yeah, let me know what happens. They're, yeah. like, yeah, just actual what we do as game developers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually because we're using this as game developers oh in the studio, God, which is yee. mad. Um, there's save version online as private, mm -hmm. which is exactly what it sounds like. But you can add collaborators. So say you're working with your friend on the other side of the world. You can save it online as private, let them know. They can go in and they can work on it. Or we can just save and release this version. Do it. And we can either release it as playable, so mm -hmm. people can play it, or we can release it as public, which means people can find it and also remix it. Mm -hmm. And so I always do my best to release as public if I can, because it's really nice to share with some the really community. Stuff. New audio. Hey. <laughs> awesome. So now that's out there. Yeah, we've just published that. And uh, no, we're not going to. So if we had maybe spent more time like polishing it and everything, we could publish it as, um, as a dream. And then it goes into uh, the dream surfing part of it. But like, if we're just, you know, we're just kind of want people to play with it and we're not super concerned about like it being a, you know, polished end experience, like we'll just publish it. It's in dream shaping now and anybody can go in there. And Anyone can go there, yeah. So right if, now, if somebody if, can start doing that, but you're, as we're talking. If you're watching this and you're at home, go and check that out and you yeah. can find it. John made this, this is quite cool. Wow. This is like a full on like pool game with AI and everything that like John just literally made in such a short period of time that makes me angry. <laughs> I, so I, yeah, I did this I mean, in a, a few evenings. Because <laughs> um, I used to be a, a builder. I started mm -hmm. as a stonemason. So this is kind of a replica from my memory of the room that I first worked on as a stonemason. And I restored that fireplace. Wow. And that's what I remember it looking right. like. So I just sort of made it up and then I just thought, oh, I'll make it into a a pool game, but it shows you the sort of differential mm. stuff you can do in dreams. It doesn't have to all look like a painting or all look like a cartoon. You can do realistic, yeah. serious. We have people that have made like you know like old school looking platformers. We have people that have made um, like stuff that is just like beautiful sort of uh, three like painted scenes. Mm. And I like I don't even like I, can't, I don't even have the words to describe the depth of the amount of things that people have created at this point. Like every time we see something new, we're like wow. I've also got to uh, give a shout out to someone who helped me make the music on this. One of Ooh. our creators during the beta, mm -hmm. he became really prolific with music, J plus B. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so I just said, I, I, I've no idea how to write smooth jazz. And he just <laughs> went, I'll do it. And it took him like an hour. And he's like, I've done two tracks for you, John, and I've stuck them in my level. And it's just cool that you can do that kind yeah. of collaboration, yeah. you know, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing too is that we have this concept of genealogy in dreams. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, even yes. when you allow something to be remixable, I mean, you made the game, really. <laughs> you should be good. <laughs> you should be good at that. No. Um, so we have this concept of genealogy. So if something that you were that you've made is used by somebody else, it credits you in their level. Okay. Um, and so like you can't really like steal other mm -hmm. people's content without you know like that it would still say yeah. they'd still be able to trace it back and say yeah. like nope, it was made by this that, person. Let's, let's, so that's, let's have a look at something and then we can just have a look at that. So if we go to game scenes and we find someone's game scene, uh, this one for example, that right. should have, and then it's got full credits. So you can mm -hmm. click on there and see who worked on it. And this is made by... This is a collaboration yeah. with uh, Rothniel and yeah. Disarmed. So yeah. there's two people who made that. Mm -hmm. But then if someone's used lots of assets from another thing, so let's just look by most recent... Um, you could look at one of the things I've made, and oh, I know okay. that I've used yeah, stuff yeah, sure. that other okay, people you, have. Okay, you find yourself. And sure. Um, I'm, is are we in Dream Shaping? Uh, we're in, yeah, Dream Shaping. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. There it is. So let's see. Let's get like I like building um, like sort of cool spaces, mm -hmm. full credits. Like I used. So I put a bunch of plants in it. Mm -hmm. So like you can see all the people who you know contributed uh, and like sort of what their specialty is. Because you have this idea of a persona, so you mm -hmm. kind of get an idea like what somebody spends their time doing. Um, and then you know whenever you look at something, you can also mm -hmm. see like. Um, 
uh, I left a comment on somebody on something somebody had made that's in mine. Mm -hmm. um, you can see who's liked it. You can see the different versions of it, um, and you can see the genealogy. So you can mm. go and you can actually see the individual assets that other people uh, created. Mm -hmm. You could see like what else it's been used in. So mm -hmm. like nobody's remixed it, but if if somebody did, that's where it would be. And then we also give you like maybe you would like these other things. Wow. Um, so if you it's all interconnected. Mm. Everything yeah. Is, like, so like you see those plants are like all mm -hmm. from other people and. Um, if we go outside the space, a really big space that takes a little while to get around here, you can make like super massive things and dreams. Um, but yeah, so like this is, and this is, this is, is this where you want to live? Relaxed. Is this where you want to live at me? Um, you know, I have made stuff that like actually is more livable than this, but um, like, I just, I just think it's fun. I, we have a grid tool. We have lots of tools that sort of help you create stuff. And like, I really enjoy, um, like there's just like, I don't know, it's very soothing. Yeah. It is, it's so. very soothing. Shall we end on, what's the weirdest thing you've seen? Your favorite weird thing? Oh God, uh, so there, was, there was something called Space Boys. Spa was that it? It's called Space, Space Boys. Boys. Oh, Space, Space Boys, Boys is pretty funny. Um, and it's just this like five minute montage film and no, it's so surreal, nothing makes any sense. It sort of goes into a spaceship and there's this person who's flashing their and, and spinning around and it's, it's, it's crazy weird. You have no idea what's going on. And this one that Abby's about to show, this is, like one of the very first things that we saw on the beta, and it's amazing. Totally normal horse. Totally normal horse. So as you can see, totally normal horse. <laughs> but then my favorite bit is when you turn on the x-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I love it. Oh it's my just gosh. like, and you know, like that's a kind of, you know, dreams. Yeah, you go right. to dreams to find this kind of. You know, that was one of the first things I saw in Dreamers. I was like, somebody gets my sense of humor. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, like, I don't look at. Just there's actually that one's that's that's our that's, that's cat. your actual cat. It's <laughs> my it? actual cat. Um, but I, you know, I don't know. Like it, it changes constantly. There's there's always new stuff being added. Mm -hmm. um, people make just like the funniest, weirdest, cool stuff. It's um, I, I think our answers to all of the questions about like what's your favorite thing, what's the weirdest thing, like change probably day to day as we yeah. just like go yeah. through the new stuff. Yeah, in the, the Made in Dreams and, hashtag is just relentlessly awesome. Um, oh, the private dance club one, where it's just like oh, yeah. it's literally just like a dance club, and like you just go in there and your puppet just dances, and it's just that's that's, that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. So how can people play Dreams? So Dreams is in early access right now, so you can actually just go onto the PlayStation Store if you're in the US or Europe and or Canada, if it's North America, um, and you can you can buy it. Great. Well, so, Abby, John, yeah. thank you so much for showing me Dreams. Yeah, you're so welcome. Well, thank pleasure. you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. And for more on Dreams, make sure you stay tuned to GameSpot. <laughs>